Hey, and welcome to the Hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports with your host, Jay Pop. Welcome back to the Homemade Podcast Sports. This is your host, Jay Pops. What's going on, guys? Uh, please follow the Homemade Podcast Sports uh, on Facebook at hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Also on YouTube, uh, which you can also rate and subscribe. Please subscribe to my YouTube page, guys. Let's make this thing go viral. And let's put some Aggie content out there. Uh, the YouTube page is hashtag homemade podcast sports. Also on Twitter at J Pops and on Instagram at J Pops. Uh, so guys, on this latest edition on the homemade podcast of sports, we're going to get into how Jimbo Fisher and the Texas A&M football program is being disrespected right now. Uh, what I mean by that is. They're not getting any type of uh, any type of love, nor any type of recognition of anything right now from anybody. Uh, may, may, maybe from a few. So you know, I'll be lying to you if I say uh, just not from anybody. But for the most part, man, people are disrespecting the Texas A&M football program, which is crazy to me. I do not understand why. I Yes, I know uh, we haven't won 10 games in, what, the last seven years, I believe, ever since the 2012 season. That's fine. Okay. We got set back for a little bit due to uh, due to circumstances. Uh, Jumbo Fisher is a $75 million man. Yes, they're going to keep on saying that. Okay, that's fine. Let him build. He has finally built it. And like I said on the last podcast, uh, he has finally built that defensive line into what he wants. Also, guys have to remember that Jimbo Fisher is trying to run a balanced offense. That's hard to do coming from a pass, 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 heavy pass and offense in which uh, Kevin Sumner ran. It's his third year. Yes, I understand that. So it's either, uh, it's either show up or shut up this year. I know that. I understand that. A whole lot. But what I don't understand is why Texas A&M is getting disrespected so much. First of all, ever since the COVID-19 pandemic happened, uh, guys have been opting out. You have yet to hear from anybody or anybody that I know of in the Texas A&M football program that has said, guys, well, hey, I'm not going to play this year. I'm going to go ahead and opt out get ready for the NFL. Nobody has came out and said that. Nobody. All other teams have said that already. Why? Nobody in Texas and them football has said that. It's because these guys are hungry. These guys know what they're in store for. These guys know the season they had last year. These guys want it more than anything. They want it more than anything, especially on the offensive side. And those, those are the ones that's getting disrespected. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, uh, our conference record that they're predicting for the Texas A&M Aggies is six and four, six and a half. That's all the wins they're going to give us. That that and that just totally wowed me. Like, really? <laughs> Are you guys for real? Six and a half. That's it. That's all we get. Wow. Uh. Meanwhile, uh, I believe uh. Other programs like Oklahoma State, for instance, I think those they're predicting those guys to be in the Big 12 championship. Blue mind, which is a good team. Don't get me wrong. But didn't Texas A&M beat that same team last year with Chuba Hubbard? They won't get any credit for that. No, not getting any credit for that. No. I I don't know, man. I, I don't understand. Then, then what's getting me is that these guys have Pittsburgh – being an all lot, everything, defensively, offensively, I, I that that one I I would not understand. I won't. Those guys barely beat Eastern Michigan in a damn bowl game last year. Eastern Michigan. 
But whatever. Hey, I don't know. Uh, you guys come in and tell me something about that. But anyways, uh, let's let's get back on the subject at hand. Uh, Jimbo Fisher, uh, for one thing, I'm tired of everybody disrespecting Jimbo Fisher. Even when he was at Florida State, I liked the guy. Okay? That guy is dynamic when he has the right players in place to run a dynamic, balanced offense. Something in which most people don't understand how a balanced offense works. A balanced offense works which is about 250 yards passing, maybe about 100 or to 150 rushing, which will do what? That'll put your offense at about maybe 350. No, 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 I'm sorry. Maybe like 400 to 450 yards per game. Okay, if you can get that rolling and clicking, man, you know how many wins that is? You know how many teams you'll be them blown out and then you must try to blow out? You're just blowing them out because of the strength of the balanced offense. So... That's, that's crazy to me. You know, that is real crazy because Jimbo Fisher has done what he needed to do. He came in, he recruited because that's where it starts at. He came in and he's developing some young players because that's where it starts at. And not to mention, it's a whole 2019 uh, and 2020 recruiting class that are eager to jump on the field, man. That is, that is unknown talent right now, but nobody's giving them the credit because, well, you guys haven't showed this yet. Neither has other teams. So I, I don't understand what that whole drama and situation is. Uh, for one thing, man, I'm 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 a very, very uh I'm a very uh I'm a very passionate offensive guy. I love offense. Uh the the spread offense, I like it, but I I, I don't like up tempo offense. I love running time off the clock, and when you have that balanced offense with the right plays out there, you can take that time off the clock, and you can make that other team's defense get wore out because they're running tempo. All right? As well as probably scoring points. But if you're running that defense out, and that offense just getting on the field and just, oh, we want to score quick, 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 what is that doing for the defense? Although they have a rotational thing, but if they putting guys into rotation – and you get out there and you play those guys, you might get somebody inexperienced on the rotational part. Which will what? That will ultimately set up something that you weren't expecting and you'll boom, blow the top off the defense. Man, I'm, I I love offense. Uh, if I had an offensive playbook, I'll show you guys how much I love offense because I, I know some plays myself to run, man. Uh and to be honest with you, if I was going to coach an offensive uh offense coordinator would would be my passion. Uh start off with, you know, like wide receivers coach, because I I, I love wide outs. I love wide receivers. They're 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 the best position because I was a wide out myself. But anyways, man, uh I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit of insight. Uh I, I just don't feel like the Texas and M program should get disrespected in any type of way. Uh, like I say, man, we have uh, the most starters coming back on offense and defense, and we're number one returning production in the SEC period. But those guys don't believe in it. Guys don't believe in Kellen Munn. That's fine. It's time for Kellen Munn to show these guys who he really is. Yeah, he's been there for three years, starting for three years, but it's time for him to shut some people up. This year should be the year. You come in there and you shut everybody up. You make them believe. It's time for that whole offense to step up make them believe. The defense – uh, time for Mike Elko to make everybody believe. Uh, so, anyways, guys, uh, I was just coming at you uh, just to give you all uh, some insight. Uh, give you all uh, some insight. Uh, please, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube page at hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Like I say once again, please follow them, follow me on Facebook at hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports. Uh, also on Instagram at J Pops and on Twitter at J Pops. Uh, guys, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, Please order you one of these. It's called Best Life, and with the hat, Best Life. Uh, get them from get them get these get this attire from RT Menifee. She's on my Facebook page. Please, guys, go and look up R.T.Menifee.
Once again, guys, it's Homemade Podcast Sports. Thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Jay Pops. Have a good one. Gig and Maggie. Thank you guys for tuning in, and please follow the hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports on Facebook, also on YouTube at hashtag Homemade Podcast Sports, on my Twitter at Jay Pops, and also on Instagram at Jay Pops. Hashtag Gig.